Photosynthesis is perhaps the most important process on the entire planet. Not only does it allow for plants to create food for themselves from literally thin air and sunlight, it is also the only natural source of oxygen on this planet. Plants are the very first link of every food chain. That is, all other organisms, being heterotrophs, depend on plants directly or indirectly for their food. Photosynthesis, therefore, is ultimately the source of life on Earth. The four components necessary for photosynthesis to take place are chlorophyll, carbon dioxide, water and sunlight. Let us now look at the machinery within a plant that helps in putting these components together to make food. Water and minerals are present in the soil. This gets taken in by the roots. From here, the continuous path of pipe-like structures called vessels transport the water all the way up to the leaves. Now that two of the required components have reached the leaf, we move on to the third essential component, carbon dioxide. If we zoom into a leaf, we see that it contains tiny pores on its surface called stomata. Carbon dioxide enters the leaf through these pores. The oxygen that is produced as a byproduct of photosynthesis also exits the leaf through these same pores. Now that all the three components have reached the leaf, we zoom into an individual cell in the leaf. This cell has a thick wall around it, which is a characteristic of plant cells. Animal cells don't have a cell wall. Within this, there is a jelly-like substance called cytoplasm, in which there are several structures such as the nucleus floating in it. However, the most important part, as far as the process of photosynthesis is concerned, is a structure called the chloroplast. It contains the chlorophyll pigment and is therefore the site where photosynthesis takes place. Chlorophyll is what gives plant their green color. And the final component, sunlight, is available to the plant during the day. Once all these components are present, the carbon dioxide and water combine in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to produce glucose and oxygen. The oxygen is a byproduct which gets used by the plant for respiration and any excess of it gets released into the atmosphere. The glucose produced during photosynthesis may be used to produce energy for the plant, while excess of it is converted into starch and stored in leaves, roots, etc., such as in potato. The presence of carbohydrates in the form of starch and leaves indicates the occurrence of photosynthesis. When you eat rice, bread, pizza, or even some vegetable or fruit, remember the effort that a plant has gone through to make it. And when you breathe in air containing oxygen, be grateful for the plants around us.